Welcome back to another episode featuring valuable US coins. Today I'm going to show you 11 highly sought after US coins worth thousands of dollars, dimes, pennies, quarters and other small and large denomination coins. So make sure to hit subscribe and bell buttons below this video and let's get started. Starting with this incredible error coin, 1999 D. Roosevelt dime broadly struck on a cent planchet. Gray that means they 64 brown by PCGS. A dramatic error that accentuates the fact that the planchet was incorrect by the broad struck features. The devices are generally sharp, although some of the peripheral letterings display the distortions caused by expansion of the planchet during the strike. The trace of zinc alloy are seen in a few places on a verse and reverse. Sold on August 20th, 2021, for $7,500 at heritage auctions. Moving on to this double denomination or mule error coin, 1995 Roosevelt time struck with scent of worst die. Great that means they 64 by NGC, an astounding mint error that prior to the 1990s was believed impossible to occur. Only the narrow difference in the die diameter between the scent and die makes it plausible that a busy mint worker could erroneously pair dies of different denominations. Most likely a press run was made from this die pairing and detected by an inspector, possibly the operator of a mint press. Perhaps the entire batch was melted aside from the present coin. This set in a near gem displays the characteristics expected of a dime struck with a coin of verse die. The verse has only partial rim, in God we trust, and the L in liberty are tight against the border. This is because the dime planchet was less in diameter than the cent die. On the same dial, the border displays minor softness of strike, principally on ES of AM. This was partially due to die alignment, but also because of metal flow of the planchet towards the collar to feel unexpectedly white scent of worst type. The strike on the scent is sharp, except for minor incompleteness on truncation of Lincoln's bus near VDB initials. Sold on January 7, 2010 for $57,500 at heritage auctions. Here is 1964 proof Kenny Dolph dollar, so-called accented hair variety. The accented hair variety displays extra hair right above the Kennedy's ear, as opposed to a regular coin which will have less hair above the ear. The accented hair variant of 1964 proof Kenny Dolph dollar is significantly scarcer in higher grade than the normal hair coin. In PR68 Ultra Cameos, accented hair issued is decidedly rare and just two pieces are listed, numerically finer at NGC. These pieces brilliant and nearly flawless showing stark white and black contrast and deeply mirrored fields. Sold on June 2, 2020 for $14,400 at Heritage Auctions. This is 1954 Lincoln scent at midday 67 red. Glowing tangerine orange surfaces reveal deeper amber hues in selected areas on this superb gem. The fields are silky smooth and deliver a proof-like complexion, framing impressively sharp design elements. Incredibly attractive and essentially flawless, with a generous mintage of over 71 million circulation strikes. The 1954 is obviously a plentiful issue in an absolute sense with the extraordinary quality and eye appeal that it possesses. However, the present example is decidedly rare from a condition standpoint. It ranks among the very best certified by PCGS with no finer in any category. So this superb gem ended up selling for $23,400 in 2020 at Stax Powers. Here is an intriguing transitional error coin, 1977D Washington Quarter struck on a silver clad planchet. Although the 1977 D. Washington Quarter is a copper nickel clad issue, this piece was erroneously struck on a silver clad planchet, that's 40% silver planchet, used for some of San Francisco Mint's bicentennial issues of 1976. A pleasing and very rare mint state example, both sides exhibit pale silver tinting to sharply struck and softly lustrous surfaces. Sold at winter 2022 auction of Stax Powers for $12,000. Jumping onto this 2007 presidential dollar coin, struck on a Jefferson nickel, otherwise double denomination coin. Grade at mid 64 by PCGS, the dollar strike was a few degrees of center toward 1230, 
which allows glimpses of Jefferson Nickel under type below the president 1789 and above the torch and of AM. The Washington Porter is complete, but United and George Washington are partial. Paint gold toning with its unabraded semi proof like surfaces. Sold on January 6, 2016 for $17,625 at Heritage Auctions. This is 1916D Mercury Dime at Meets Day 67 with full bands or a full torch designation. The full bands designation is granted to Mercury Dimes in which the central middle set of bands show a complete split in the middle. Among regular issue US 20th century coins, the 1916D has a remarkable low mintage of only 264,000 pieces. Only a few other key dates issues have similar or lower mintage, and all are rarities in high demand. Both sides of this coin are alive with mint frost that shimmers beneath rich orange, gold, olive, and blue gray toning. Every feature is fully struck, and the all important central bands are razor sharp. The surfaces are smooth enough to suggest an even higher grade. Sold on August 12, 2010 for $195,500 at Heritage Auctions. Yet another error coin, 1979 P. Anthony Dollar, struck on a 1978 Jefferson Nickel. A fascinating and exceedingly rare double denomination error. The smaller nickel planchette took only part of Anthony Dollar design. The borders and upwards of half of the peripheral device of the flan. Enough of the date is present to readily confirm the 1979 attribution, and the P mint mark is clear. Also, the clear is the undertype, much of Monticello discernible over Anthony's portrait, while on the reverse a partially outlined Jefferson portrait from the nickel is evident. Closer inspection reveals only the bottom loop of the digit 8 in the date of nickel, just below the letter E in America and in an Anthony Dollar design. Both sides are brilliant with a bright, satiny, virtually pristine appearance. Great at Miss Day 67, this incredible error coin ended up selling for $15,275 at Stax Powers. Here is very rare 1922 Lincoln Sand with missing mint mark D and strong reverse design. Great at Miss Day 64 brand by PCGS. This is a near gem example of the sought after 1922 cent variety with a strong reverse and absolutely no trace of mint mark on a verse. Glossy chocolate brown surfaces display cherry red accents around the devices and steel blue in the fields. A verse design definition is typically mushy, but the devices are unworn. Sold on January 14, 2022 for $43,200 at Heritage Auctions. Moving on to this 1921 Peace Dollar at Means Day 67 Plus, very rare with such high relief. Extremely beautiful iridescent toning in pastel pink, gold, apricot, powder blue, and olive graces the surfaces of this extraordinary high relief Peace Dollar. Both sides are frosty, exceptionally smooth, and very close to superb gem quality. The strike is far superior to what is typically seen and survivors of this challenging issue. Sold in 2024 for $28,800 at Stax Powers. Here is one of the most expensive Roosevelt times sold at auctions. 1975 proof Tencent at, at PR68 grade. It's missing its mint mark S which stands for San Francisco mint. There are only two 1975 no S proof times known. Listed in the first plate in the third edition of 100 Greatest US Modern Coins, the 1975 No S Proof Roosevelt Dime is one of the rarest issues in all of American coinage. Only two examples are known to collectors today, as I mentioned before, and they have been tightly held by just a few owners in the 40 plus years since their discovery. One lucky California collector ordered five proof sets from US Mint in 1975. Miraculously, she noticed that two of sets contained proof times with no mint mark. She submitted one of the coins to Coinworld Collectors Clearing House in July 1977 and later had both coins certified by Anex. Anex announced certification of one of other coins in January 1978 and Coinworld published the first article about the coins in February 22nd edition, causing much excitement in the numismatic community. Collectors have been 
diligently examining their 1975 proof sets ever since, but so far no more 1975 no S dimes have been discovered. The coin offered here is a stunning PR68 example with fully struck design elements and deeply reflective fields on both sides. The virtual pristine surfaces are blanketed in attractive shades of cerulean blue and pale jade toning. Overall eye appeal is terrific, sold in 2019 for almost half a million dollars in 2019 at heritage auctions. Thanks for watching guys, your subscriptions and likes are highly appreciated. See you in the next episode. Bye.